What's up? I'm Jesse from KarateByJesse.com, aka the Karate Nerd. And today I am joined by the one and only, the man, the myth, the legend, Sensei Bill Superfoot Wallace. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you sir. so much for taking your time, no problem. experience, and expertise and sharing it with all of us. So, you're known all across the world in the history of karate as one of the greatest full contact fighters. I think they're trying to show each other something in this round. Who is the toughest? And your unique approach revolves around this sideways stance. Yes. Could you explain a little bit about that approach? Why you're doing it? Uh, why and how it's so effective? When I started karate, yeah. I had just ruined, ruined my right knee in judo. I, man, I, I was playing judo, yeah. a guy fell on my right and he tore the medial ligament. Okay. So the right leg was gone. Right. And when I started doing karate training, I was already in a cast. Okay. And I started doing side kicks and roundhouse kicks with the front leg, just just snap and you know, just working that movement. Ah. Because I couldn't move I couldn't step, I couldn't do anything else. Right. And then when I started I got out of the cast yeah. and I started working regular karate training, yeah. I had to protect my knee. Ah. Because because back then there was never arthroscopic surgery. Right. It was called exploratory. Okay. <laughs> which is not good. Right. And I found out that because I'm sideways this way, yeah. kibidachi, modified right. kibidachi. Yeah. And when I step from here, again I can still stay in my kibidachi. Right. Right. I don't have to go boom and exactly. do this. So I'm right here. And me being a kicker, yeah. if I do back fist reverse punch, right. Now can I kick with this leg? Not really. Not really. Huh. So I got to stay here. So. The very first combination yeah. that everybody was taught in any striking sport yeah. was back fist reverse punch or jab cross. Right, right. right. Okay, for us, like today, yeah. no. No. From here, you take your stance, yeah. I throw back fist, boop, and ah. I'm a sidekick. <laughs> there now, it is. I'm still sideways. Yeah. Now, if you come at me hard, I'm right. take off. Right. So I'm protected. What do you see to hit? Look at my body. What do you see to hit? There's only one target that you see, and that's my head. Right. And if you throw my head, boop, now it's gone because I have this. And as you throw, ah. I have the side kick. So from here, yeah. it's back fist, he blocks, right, and a side kick. Very simple movement. Not this, no, nothing like this. It's just step movement. Speed right. works for me. Speed in the movement. It might not be strong, right. but it's quick. Yeah. And in speed, you develop power. So basically, what most people do in a lot of martial arts is they want to use their hips yes. to generate power, and that's why they have this kind of a square stance, yeah. right? Yep. So your whole fighting system revolves around speed, which is why from you can side. have a sideways yes. stance. Yes, because from this position right here, I can throw the sidekick, I can throw mawashi, I can throw uru mawashi. Right. But for me, how much flexibility do I need to throw yoku gari? Exactly. That's all I need. I don't have to lean, I don't have to shift, I don't have to jump at you. I just step. From here, look at the distance. Step, boom. Now look how close I am. Right. Now you still have to say, what's he doing? Right. Not that here comes a kick, here comes a punch. Yeah. But you gotta say, what's he doing? Yeah. That gives me the opportunity to work my combinations. He's vicious when he's here unloaded. I mean, that's the most powerful right hand I think I've seen. So, let's say you're facing somebody who does a lot of low kicks. It might be a tempting target to oh, go for your front leg. And there's the hook kick. Uh huh. Or better yet, you, you sweep the kick. Right. There's the side kick. Because as you sweep, yeah. Stop. Look at your body. Right. I open up. You. You're here. Yeah. Because you have to get power in the sweep. As you mm. do that, there's the side. Okay. Yogi. And, or I let you sweep it. Right. And then there's the hook kick. Because <laughs> right. now you. Walk right into the hook kick. Mm. The the side kick is my power. Okay. The roundhouse kick is like my jab. Okay. But the hook kick is my counter. So you're using three basic different kinds of kicks for different purposes. But it's the same kick. It is. Comes out the same way. Mawashi, uh, Yoko Gary comes straight out like a punch. Right. Mawashi Gary comes out like a rich hand. Yeah. Uta Mawashi comes out like a back fist. Right. If I have to turn to throw this kick from yeah. the mawashi, yeah. you're going to see this. Exactly. If I throw the uramawashi, you see that. Right. Yoko is here. Mm. If you're fast enough, you know what I'm going to throw before I throw it. Exactly. But if it all looks the same, what do you have to wait for? You have to wait for me to throw it. Yeah. It's here when you see it. Right. Now you have this time to defend. 
Hmm, exactly. And up to now, everybody's picked the wrong thing to defend. <laughs> Sunday's corner did not appreciate our So how would you combine a sideways fighting stance using both the kicks and your arms? Well, what is the philosophy oh, there? Wait, easy way to practice yeah? is from here. Like you'll be like this. Too. Okay. Now, okay, now you have but right here, we did this today. Open yeah. hands. I throw the jab here. I throw the cross here. He turns that hand, and I just slap that. Son of a gun, I'm sideways. Oh, All right. Side kick. So you're loading up the side oh, yeah. kick with that hook yep. punch. Because that because when I jab and I cross and I hook. See how I'm turned sideways? Yep. Now the speed as I turn here, bam, and there's the side kick. Hmm. I see. Not not. Because you already moved. Yeah, yeah. But if exactly. I do but if I do one, two, three, boom. Now so before you can react. And and the punches are thrown to the face. Yeah. The cross is thrown to the face. Right. The hook is thrown to the face. Yeah. So where are your arms? Up here. <laughs> there's the side kick. Now some people say it would be difficult to do a cross with your hips to the side. Do you have any ad advice for throwing this hand because it's so far away from the target when you're sideways? I don't. <laughs> oh, you don't? I don't. I'm, you got you got Floyd Mayweather, right? The world boxing. He fought from this position. Yeah. And he could throw it. Ah. See what you have to do is pivot, right? And reach, right? And come back. And you're also keeping this pretty much to the front. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Yep. So it's not and, that. And if you don't. You're gonna throw the left hand at me. Right. Okay, what'd you just do? You came up on the ball of your foot. Yep. Most people won't. They'll do this. Uh, That's as far as the hips will turn. Right. Now it's this. Look how far I've missed you. Yeah. But if I go here, now it's there. Yeah. Because I turn and I come forward. Right. Power, movement, my weight. Mm. Weight into the movement. Just like in the kicking. I move my weight into it. Yeah. What just happened? You shit. Exactly. And now it goes forward. So what about the arm position? I see that you're holding one arm down and right. the other arm up. Is there a purpose for this? I know with my arm down in this position here, yep. that all of this is protected. Okay. All of this, yeah. all you have is this. So you're not afraid of getting hit in the face? You throw the punch, now it's gone. Ah, and then your kick is yeah, also- Now if you notice, I'm on the ball of the foot. Yep, fast. There's no weight on it. Right. Now I just redirect it. That's incredible. Or you throw the jab and I come over the top. Ah. And then there it is again. Right. And I don't really see You'll it. You'll never see it. Because it's in the it's corner here. of my, yeah. Yeah, here. And also bam. Bam. And then it's and too late. late. <laughs> so it's, right. it's all right. It's all from this position. Yeah. And I can take off. Right. The movement is because of my knee. Yep. It did a wonderful sort of, you know, most of the time when I tore the knee up. Yep. It was all, your career's done. Yeah. Well. It made me change. It exactly. made me modify. It made me play with it to where now everything is with this leg. Hmm. The right leg, even though it's damaged, does a great job of holding me up. So, <laughs> when that injury or accident happened, what went through your head? I'm done. I'm done. Because judo, if you've got a bad knee, yeah. there was no such thing back then in 1965 as arthroscopic surgery. Right, exactly. Back then it was called exploratory. Yeah. They wanted to cut it open yep. and look what's inside. Exactly. And which is no good. So what changed in your mind that made you turn this sort of negative thing into a positive thing? I figured physiologically, yep. I have a master's degree in this. Okay. If my right leg is far away from you, yep. you can't reach it. Right. And if I, and if I, if I do this, see what happens? If I drag it this way, yep. there's stress on the medial ligament. Right. But if I step, bring it up. Uh, now see how close I got to you right now? Yeah. <laughs> now I just bring the leg yeah. up and kick. Exactly. But also, if I step. Right. So if I step, step, yeah. boom, there yeah. it is again. Yeah. So, so I can use this from this position. See, if I'm here yep. and I do this, then I do, what'd you just do? Yeah. You reacted. Exactly. But if I go, boom, boom. See, uh, right yeah. Here. Yeah. Here's the kick. Right. Yeah. I can go, the, this leg. Right. Is my third hand. So you put this hand here, this hand here, I'll go between them. Ah, I see. Do you have any advice for people out there who might have some, let's say, it doesn't have to be a disability, but maybe some injury or something that hurts, and how to overcome that and turn it into a... Let it rest. Let it rest. Let the injury rest. It'll be better. The guy that said no pain, no gain, he's dead. <laughs> Remember that. You're right. So, so, you know, we've always been taught, all martial arts, yeah. work through the pain. Yeah. No, don't worry, let it rest. The pain tells you there's something wrong. Right. I was in a cast for three months. 
yeah. for my leg. Yeah. After I got out of the cast, it took a month or two, but it started loosening up and it felt strong enough that number one, it would hold me up. Mm. Number two, it's never gone out on me, ever. No? Never. Wow. People in the corner waiting. Learn to love the super foot. You see that leg out there snapping twice. You see this extraordinary balance. One, two, three kicks. And that was a good roundhouse kick. See, if I'm here, yep. if you throw the low kick, well, I, I, there's still nothing I can do. Even though I lean back and take the weight off of it, yep. I'm still, I, I got to do this. Right. Well, you're gone. Yep. But if I'm already right here, and you did, uh, mm. so I, all I do is pick it up. Yeah. And let you redirect it back into your face. Mm. Wow. That makes total sense. Well, it, 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 it's, it's easy for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and if I'm here, from right. here, you have your hands up, yeah. and I do up like that. What do you want to do? See, oh, the side <laughs> Exactly. So, so, it's easy movement, not yeah. strong. Right. But quick. Right. And maybe I catch you off balance. Mm. So, what would you say to somebody who feels like they're not quick enough to make this work for them? Relax. Relax? Teach the muscles to relax. Snap. You notice everything I did was out and back. Never this, but it's out and back. Right. Out and back. You pull it back. Yeah, snap. No, don't pull it. Snap it. Snap Let it. Out. Hyperextend. Right. See, you can do this 35,000 times and nothing yep. happens. But if you go, ooh, ooh, after about five or six of those, ouch. Yeah. So out and back. Ah. Uh, like a whip. Out. Yes. Almost. Yes. Yeah. And now there's no energy spent. Right. And it's out and back. Mm. And if I have to do it again, I can. <laughs> That's fantastic. Do you have any final piece of advice for somebody who wants to adopt this kind of sideways fighting stance that you're using out there? Take the movement. Play with it. Change it. Modify it. So it becomes you. We're not built the same. So you're not going to be able to do it like I do. Our flexibilities are different. Our strength, our weaknesses are different. But most of all, our psychology is different. I like kicking people. <laughs> Makes me feel good. <laughs> so that's what, that's what this is all about, yeah. being able to kick. Right. You found what worked for you, adapted yep. it, tailored it around your strengths and weaknesses, yep. and became one of the best in the world yep. at it. And, I, and the jab keeps you away from me, right? so I can do that kick. Yeah. So if I go here, oh, oh right. and there's the kick. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you so much Thank for you, sharing. Sir. Have a good time. And remember, it's fun kicking people. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.